Good morning and welcome to the Flyer Fast Forward for Wednesday, March 27th. I'm Noah. And I'm Emily. Your school news starts now. Prom pledges are available for seniors only today, March 27th, and will begin for juniors March 28th. Pledges will be on sale until Friday, April 12th. You must have your prom form completed before you can buy a pledge. Please note, starting today, March 27th, you will be assigned your spot in Grand March according to the order in which you buy your ticket. You cannot choose your spot in line. Any questions, please see Ms. York. Remember that tomorrow will be the last day to change your schedule for the fourth quarter. Make your appointment in the guidance office for the change. Seniors, reminder that the local scholarships are due Thursday, March 28, 2013. Please bring them into the guidance office. The middle school and high school jazz band concert will be held Monday, April 8th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. The cost is $3 for adults and $1 for students. No passes will be accepted. Please come enjoy the show. It's time to sign up for the 7th annual duathlon. Register by April 19th to ensure you get a t-shirt in a reduced rate of only $10. You can sign up later, but it will increase to $15 and you are not guaranteed a t-shirt. You will get to run one mile, bike five miles, and then run another mile. You can be in teams of two or conquer it all by yourself. All your hard work isn't for nothing. There will be prizes for the winners. And now to the activities report. FCA will meet Thursday morning in Ms. Sia's room at 7.30 a.m. And there will be a baccalaureate meeting Thursday morning at 7.30 a.m. in room 123. And some news from the band trip. Congratulations to Seth Wester, who won the 2013 Liberty of the Seas Belly Flop Contest of the Band Tour. Impressive. Congratulations to Rochelle O'Bra and Josh Kapsner for receiving Best in Sight for the Snare Duet, judged by Dr. Skingoli, Director of Bands Emeritus, uh, Ball State University, on the 2013 band tour. Also, congratulations to Megan Coding, uh, Ian Norwood, Caitlin Hansen, and Emily Leisenheiser, Leisenheimer for spotting an SOS boat in distress and alerting the crew of the Liberty Seas, which led to the saving of the two stranded men uh, suffering from extreme exposure. It's trivia time. Yesterday we asked for the example of alliteration. The correct answer was D. Nell noticed a neat nest nearby. Congratulations to Ridge Primus for the correct answer. Today's question is about dinosaurs. What was the first dinosaur to be discovered? A. Gigantosaurus B. Megalosaurus C. Brontosaurus or D. Tyrannosaurus rex Again, what was the first dinosaur to be discovered? A. Gigantosaurus B. Megalosaurus C. Brontosaurus or D. Tyrannosaurus rex you can send your answer to the video email address at video at isd482.org. Now, let's see what's for lunch today. Today for lunch on the main line is pasta with Italian meat sauce served with seasoned peas, Caesar salad, red pepper strips, apples, and chilled peaches. Additional lunch choices include a cheeseburger or barbecue chicken sandwich. And the pizza today is your choice of cheese pizza or meat lover's pizza. Enjoy. That's all for today. I'm Noah. And I'm Emily. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Flyer Fast Forward.